Hello, good evening. I want to welcome you to BOI Impact tonight with a quotation by Barack Obama, the United States President, in an address to joint session of Congress in February 2009, where he said, to truly transform our economy, protect our security, and save our planet from the ravages of climate change, we need to ultimately make clean, renewable energy the impactful and profitable kind of energy. Well, the Bank of Industry, BOI, in partnership with the United Nations Development Program, UNDP, are indeed on the same path in this regard, going by the recent events which both partners have embarked upon. Just before we let the cat out of the bag, let's flash back on how it all began, starting with the MOU signing ceremony between the Bank of Industry and UNDP on access to renewable energy projects some years back. Renewable energy options with both off and on the grid arrangement will be one of the ways to go. This is the reason why I see today as a significant day to articulate in government support towards private sector development of alternative source of energy through micro, small and medium enterprises in Nigeria. This initiative will definitely promote the creation of additional jobs and improve income for these groups. Hence, it facilitates quality economic growth and equitable development in terms of inclusiveness. Our project on renewable energy with uh, the facility we got from BOHI and UNDP is to scale up what we have been doing. We see this as an opportunity to actually give back to this and for Nigeria to lead in the renewable energy development. So we would strongly recommend that this should be scaled up and this should be a yearly thing. And if we continue this way, we could project that in another five, six years from now, our energy mix in Nigeria could grow as high as 40% renewable. Energy is the un underbelly of development in any form. And for BOI to partner with UNDP to bring up this idea is more than commendable. As of today, Nigeria is concentrating only on providing energy for the 40% people that are connected to the national grid. And we are not able to do that. But this arrangement that they are doing is addressing the 60% Nigerian poor that are not connected to electricity at all because the thing is designed for the rural and semi-urban areas. So that one is an area that the government is not looking at now. And if they do that, it's going to really stimulate the growth of Nigerian economy. Welcome back. Moving forward on the project, BOI has taken a step further, not to only support projects on renewable energy, but to also light up Nigeria rural areas through its solar energy program. Tonight, we shall bring you the check presentations to two companies the bank has supported through a long-term financing for the installation of off-grid solar system in six communities in Nigeria for a pilot phase. The two companies are GVE Projects Limited and Energy Solar Limited, and states where these communities are Anambra, Delta, Gombe, Kaduna, Niger, and Oshun State. Sit back while we take you through the events that took place. Happy viewing. Energy is essential to meeting basic human needs such as food production, running water, light, and transport which are all dependent on energy access. Poor access to energy has severe impact on health, quality of life, education and economic productivity. It is in this light that the Bank of Industry and United Nations Development Programme are supporting domestic solar power energy providers with a long-term financing for off-grid solar home system to light up six communities in six states of the Federation. 
After welcoming the guests to the presentation of checks to the two providers by the Managing Director of the Bank of Industry, Mr. Rashid Olaolua, the Divisional Head Large Enterprises in the bank, Mr. Joseph Babatunde, made a presentation on the journey so far on the renewable energy project. We believe that through this program, we should be able to reach a lot of rural communities where there are quite a number of micro and small enterprises uh, that can do business uh, giving adequate supply of electricity. And of course, we we'll be part and parcel of promoting policies and various smart free framework uh, that we engender an inclusive and a sustainable renewable energy market. Uh, what are some of the major achievements that we have been able to accomplish through this program? Uh, there has been a lot of awareness that has been created through uh, capacity building for various stakeholders, various banks, MSMEs, and service users. And of course, we have also sponsored a lot of renewable energy program and workshop all across the country, both within and outside the country. And not only that, there was a very important competition that we uh, organized through this program a couple of years back. We call it Access Challenge Competition. And I'm glad that uh, Mr. GV is seated here is the beneficiary for that, that, that scheme. Uh, aside from that, we've also had a lot of collaboration you know, with so many other uh, stakeholders. Having achieved the objective of building capacity, we believe that the phase we are is the phase of actual implementation, delivery you know, of projects that everybody can see and can feel you know, that uh, we should be able to achieve through this project. The solar energy program is therefore set to make tangible impact in providing affordable renewable energy solutions, not only to households, but also to a good number of micro and small uh, enterprises. The MD of BOI, Mr. Rashid Olaolua, in his keynote address, gave insightful details on the project. Inadequate power supply undermine our economic development as a nation. Economic life remains paralyzed in many rural communities that have been left outside the grid for several years. This is one of the main factors responsible for the often talked about rural urban migration. Rather than wait in vain for the national grid to reach them, there is a golden opportunity for our rural communities to be empowered with affordable off-grid solar home systems that are operated on a pay-as-you-go basis. East Africa is already leading the way for Sub-Saharan Africa. MCOPA, a subsidiary of Kenyan tele uh, telecom giant Safaricom, has installed solar home systems to over 180,000 rural homes in Kenya, Tanzania, and Uganda. This is exactly what we seek to replicate in Nigeria with our partnership with GV Projects Limited and Energy Solar Limited. These two companies were selected from eight companies that responded to our request for proposal in 2014. We are starting off with the provision of long-term financing for the installation of off-grid solar home system in six communities in a pilot phase as part of our renewable energy program, uh, renewable energy partnership with the United Nations Development Program. UNDP. These communities, with an average of 200 homes each, are located in Anambra, Delta, Gombe, Kaduna, Niger, and Ocean States. Each home in the chosen communities will have sufficient energy to power three or four LED lights. By the way, LED lights uh, mean, you know, light emitting diode lights uh, that consume between 5 to 10 uh, watts 
of electricity. Uh, many of you will recall that the, the standard bulb, light bulb we used to use, you know, while well, the 60 watts. So you can imagine the amount of energy efficiency that LED lights have brought to the world. So each home will be able to use three to four LED lights, one electric fan, a radio set, a TV set, and of course, mobile phone charging. These are the basic needs of the average rural family. What we are initiating is a commercially sound model for delivering power to Nigerian rural homes at affordable rates to provide a long-term alternative to the problematic national grid. The Jenkos and Discos need not worry about these initiatives. There is enough pent-up demand for energy in our cities and major towns to keep them very busy over the next decade. Our role as a development bank is catalytic. We are trying out a model that has worked in other jurisdictions and we are very optimistic that it was a work in Nigeria. We want our rural communities to take control of their energy generation and to pay for the energy they use. Our medium term vision is to have 100,000 homes installed with solar systems in the next five years through a combination of microgrid and standalone solar home systems. This is essentially a program aimed at poverty alleviation and rural economic development. He also expatiated on how the project will be executed as well as its viability. At BOI, we remain committed to making a difference in the lives of Nigerians and to making a positive impact on their economic lives. Uh, before I close, let me commend the team that has worked very tirelessly uh, on this project, um, led by uh, our, my colleagues in the Large Enterprise Directorate, um, Alaji Alkali and uh, Mr. Joseph Abatunde, and the team members from the, you guys should come up and uh, be recognized. Where is Ruse? Yes, so Austin and Ruse have traveled across the whole country to locate these communities because we are determined to ensure that we can actually deploy this solution in communities that don't have, that are, that are currently outside the national grid. So they have gone to very remote locations all over the country. So well done, guys. This is, you are making a difference. Thereafter, checks were presented to the beneficiaries accompanied by the representatives of each of the selected states. The beneficiaries also had this to say. I have to tell you that we are excited and again we are humbled to be a beneficiary of um, the BO High Off Grid Electrification Project. As a matter of fact, it's exactly two years now that I moved back to Nigeria. And it's really amazing to know that, I mean, less than two years now and Biho High we're able to see the passion that we have as an organization and here we are now BOI has teamed up they've supported us with our vision to actually go out there I mean we have more than 100 million Nigerians that are not connected 
to the grid. So it's our vision to go out there to these villages and provide them electricity. You I caught the vision we had as young undergraduates and they have supported us. Even the, the pilot project at EBK, BOI and UNDP sponsored the prefeasibility of that project and also co-sponsored the actual implementation in collaboration with the Institute of Electrical Electronics Engineers, IEEE. So we want to say a very big thank you to BUI and we want to assure you that the confidence you have in we will not let you down in any way. It's in line with our long term something we are passionate about because we uh, give up life to trying to climb the corporate ladder to trying to create impact in rural communities and those off grid in Nigeria. But then Austin and his team came. They moved around the villages and identified only bamboo and the initial north of the state of Oshun. And uh, I am so glad, and Mr. Governor, I'm sure, will be very glad when I give the report and get back home that only bamboo will no longer be in darkness. Nigeria will no longer be in darkness. When this issue of this uh, pilot project came to us, we are doubting of its own realities because of our nature of being Nigeria. We always perceive things in a negative way. Not only when they came the second time, we began to believe that it is real. We are very happy for choosing Kaduna State to be one of these pilot projects. So we say thank you very much. In Niger, we are lucky to have gone a step or so further. We had the support of GTZ and the European Union in identification of rural communities that are not near the national grid for this kind of projects. And so far, we've identified about 50 communities under that arrangement. And uh, most likely before the end of this month, the state policy on decentralized rural electrification will be out. By so doing, I believe most of the entrepreneurs will have an opportunity through your bank, sir, invest in Niger State decentralized rural electrification project. Well, I'm very glad to be here and I'm happy to know that BOI is sharing that passion of lighting up the rural Nigeria. Thank you very much. Uh, for those who have gone to Gombebe, particularly Mr. Austin, they have seen the terrain of the villages that is so unmortable. And uh, this project has come to us not as a surprise because the Bank of Industry are always tested us. I will, I will take this report before His Excellency, Alaji Ibrahim Hassan Nangombo, and I believe he will be glad to see Kolwa being the beneficiary. I thank you very much. The media executives present also had one or two questions which answers were provided for by the MD and the beneficiaries. I, I, I want to find out, this project, are they going to be replicated in other rural areas or they are just for a particular place? This is a pilot phase. And obviously, once the pilot is successful, as we hope it will, we will you know, uh, extend this to many more communities. In addition to that, um, BOI is doing this as, you know, as part of our catalytic role in the society. We are hoping that once this is successful, um, private sector individuals, commercial banks, will also look at this. You know, we, it's a commercial model that we've, we've tried to develop. And our confidence is reinforced by the fact that this is working in other jurisdictions. How much is involved in terms of monitoring towns? 
I could see 44 million, 30 million. Can you tell us the old figure that we are investing in this project? Thank you. We have two models. Um, that's a standalone where, you know, the, each home has its own system, you know, on the rooftop, and there's a meter which is, you know, which is going to drive the uh, pay as you go technology. And the customer will just like recharge, you know, the electricity. Now that's that started loan for 200 homes, we cost us 31 million naira. Now for the microgrid where you go to a community and you put all the infrastructure in one location and just connect the 200 homes in that community to that installation, that is slightly more expensive. That will cost 44 million. So it depends on whether the houses are clustered together or whether they are dispersed in different locations in the village. So we have visited all the villages and we have decided which ones will be microgrid and which ones will be standalone systems. You said the UNDP is also funding this program. So how much have they put on the table to support you? Under the partnership the program we have the, with the UNDP, the budget is $4.8 million. What the UNDP has provided so far is $1.6 million. And projects under this scheme are to be funded on a 50-50 basis with UNDP. So I hope that, uh, that addresses your question. Looking at competition from CSR projects in some communities and also the fact that People can also get power supply from PHCM in areas when they are available, when it cannot even be accounted for. How do you make sure that uh, your project doesn't suffer this setback? Now, for the people, for the companies that do CSR, yeah, for me, given the amount of gap that we have, everybody is welcome. Really, everybody is welcome. You know, if you want to do CSR in solar, you're welcome. There are well. Um, well endowed individuals who may want to do this in their communities that they know the communities don't have electricity in some remote locations. Let's engage in this model. So I think what we are doing is we are introducing a model. We are saying this model works. Where we welcome other people to come and discuss this model with us and they can go and replicate. It's not a we are not creating a monopoly. We are just trying to say we there's a problem. People have been denied electricity for so many years, it is time to address that issue. There was a new renewable energy policy, you know, which came up. And, uh, but the, the, the particular one we're initiating today is not a grid great um, uh, initiative because you know most of the formal policies you know address um, energy generation in the you know above one one megawatt uh, so here we're talking about you know a few you know kilowatts you know just to be able to power um, you know lighting systems to be able to power tv radio electric fan and mobile charging just the basic things that a rural family requires you know for 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 a comfortable living um, and what we're trying to do is not this is, we're not pioneering anything okay this is being done already in several parts of the world including Africa the long-term plan the long-term plan is that we'll be in a position to work with a Naseni which is you know, a, a science and engineering institution set up by the federal government. We can work with Nasini to upgrade the solar panel factory in Kashi, in the FCT, you know, to be able to actually serve and meet the needs of these rural communities. Now, um, the, 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 there's a technological specification in terms of what type of panels are suitable for our purpose. So what we need to do is to enhance the facilities at Naseni so they are able to produce a broad range of solar panels in different capacities that can really help our off-grid solar program. We have a, a, a version that you can also use for the micro enterprises. So it's not just for homes. You, you know, a micro enterprise, maybe a, a barbing salon, uh, um, you know, 
people who are in micro businesses that are not energy intensive. I must emphasize that. So it's not like you cannot plug a, an electric ion, you know. So, you know, those, those things are really sap a lot of energy out of the system. But if there are things that use, you know, 100 watts, you know, 200 watts up to that level, this can be accommodated. And in fact, in, look, in communities where this has been done, it has transformed the economic life. Villages where by 7 p.m. everybody goes to bed, now you now find that people are busy, you know, opening shops and really conducting commercial activities up to 9, 10 p.m. And it has really transformed their lives. That was another milestone initiative from BOI and UNDP. Just as we always promise on this program, the Bank of Industry will not relent in its effort to transform the industrial sector of the economy through various developmental initiatives like what you have just witnessed during the course of the program. In subsequent editions of the series, we shall keep you updated on the progress report. For further inquiries, please contact our customer care unit, customercare at boinigeria.com, or you can call any of the numbers showing on your screen right now. At BOI, we make you realize your dream of becoming an entrepreneur. I am Hadiza Olao Shibiko. Join us same time, same station next week for another interesting package. Bye for now.